You know, brother, as you travel in ministry around the United States, and I know you, you both in terms of worship and praise, but also in terms of teaching and preaching. Yes, sir. What is it that you're seeing happen in the, in the churches? I'm seeing that God is starting to visit the church again. Uh, I grew up, just to give a little bit about me, mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in a Pentecostal format. Uh, my dad's a preacher. His father's a preacher. I'm from South Carolina. His father, uh, his father founded lots of churches mm -hmm. in South Carolina. Like I said, my dad's pastoring. I'm traveling around the country. One thing that I'm seeing, everything that I've heard, I'm 28 years old, and I've always heard of the things that have to happen before Jesus comes back. Okay. And there are very few that has to happen. I believe the next thing on the agenda is Jesus is coming back. Uh, we've been on uh, the program, and I love what you're doing with Signs and Wonders, because I believe that we're going to start to see the manifestations of miracles, signs, and wonders again Amen. like we have never seen before. Amen I'm that. seeing it everywhere I go. Amen. God is healing. He is saving. I mean, Amen. people are getting saved by the droves, mm. uh, see people getting healed in our meetings. We're here, we're, 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 people are hearing that have never heard mm. in their life. Praise and God. to see the manifestations of the gifts like we have never seen is truly phenomenal to me. And I believe that it's just setting up for the return of our Lord. So you're, see, you're seeing miracles happen, yes, watching sir. God move. Yes, sir. And you think that we're close to that uh, trumpet? I believe we're very close. I believe, they I, believe I believe Jesus, you know, some folks, you know, uh, some folks, and I've been hearing it all my life that Jesus is coming back, sure. but I believe he could come before we get through this interview. See, that's, that's the thing that, because a lot of people say that, because I'm, I'm with you. Yes, sir. I believe that this is the kingdom generation. Yes, sir. And I'm right in the middle of a book called The Kingdom Generation sure. that tells that, that story, not from an end days perspective, not revelation study, but about what God's doing in the church right. to prepare for Jesus' coming. Right. And that's, that's what excites me is right. that the church is starting to come together, starting right. to rise up. And, and that's because 70% of the red letter, Jesus, even though I'm not taking away from any of these things, he didn't talk that much about salvation. He didn't talk that much about healing. He didn't talk much about uh, uh, de being demon possessed or getting delivered, 70% of the red letter is kingdom. Mm. He came to this planet to get that kingdom on this planet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talk about going to heaven. You know, a lot of people talk about going to heaven. Uh, but, you know, that's fine and great. But God loves this planet so much that when we get there, we're coming right back here. That's right. Uh, he came to instill in us the power of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. That means sickness, disease. Mm -hmm. You obtain the power of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. That's how powerful your words are. The Bible says that we're ambassadors of Christ. Mm -hmm. An ambassador is a representative of the country that he is from, right. and he carries that power. So you carry the power of heaven wherever you go in any situation of your life. You have the authority of heaven. Move that sickness, move that disease, receive deliverance, whatever you need, it's yours for the asking. Is, is that what Jesus meant when he said, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Yes, sir. Thy will be done. Yes, sir. Because the kingdom is here. Yes, sir. Jesus brought the kingdom. Right. And through the kingdom, he brought salvation. Through the kingdom, he brings healing. That's why he came to establish the kingdom. So within the kingdom, through him, we could have salvation. We could have eternal life. And what? that's why there's power in your words. That's mm -hmm. why he said, speak those things that are not as though they are. Mm -hmm. Because when you begin to speak and you begin to operate under the kingdom gift, mm -hmm. there is nothing, there is nothing that can stand in your way because you have the power of heaven backing that word. Well, how, does a, how does a person who believes in Jesus get into that place of understanding what his kingdom or her kingdom rights are. Right. How, how do they get to that place? You have to read the word. Mm -hmm. And I think that there is a lot of that happening as well. People are becoming a lover of the word again. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that we are to go through a washing, the washing of the water of the word. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, to help you understand, there's, I mean, there, there's no, nothing greater than you can do to understand your kingdom rights mm -hmm. than to read the word of God. Because that gives your declaration right. of your citizenship right. is God's word. Yes, sir. And what it, I guess because we have an enemy, let's spend a couple minutes talking about the sure. enemy of the kingdom. Sure. Because God's kingdom 
invaded an enemy kingdom mm -hmm. before Jesus came into this world, yes, sir. before the kingdom of God is in your midst, there, was a, there is another kingdom here. Yes, sir. The kingdom of darkness. But the thing about it is, is God came here to establish his kingdom. God has replaced. He has, he has set us here as legal ambassadors to carry out the kingdom of heaven in the earth. Jesus is sitting there with his disciples before, we don't have time for this, it's a teaching within itself, but Jesus came and he's sitting there with his disciples the night before he died, mm -hmm. the night before they took him, uh, to, I guess uh, before they tried to uh, really get down and, and accuse him of his accusation, but when, before they came and got him, he is sitting there with his disciples. He is sitting there, he is washing their feet, he is, uh, he's given communion, Peter looks at him and says, Lord, not only my feet, but he said, wash me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Jesus was anointing him as the first Gentile to declare the kingdom of God in the earth. We are here. We are right now exercising our legal right even though the enemy comes in like a flood the Bible says that he has given us the power to raise a standard against it and declare the things of God I'm telling you if you get that concept there is nothing 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 that will stand in your way amen because the victory was already won yes sir with what Jesus did at, the, yes, at Calvary sir. he said on the cross it is finished it is finished. We always, you know, I grew up, uh, I grew up that you had to fight for everything. You have to fight for everything. When I read, he said, put on the whole armor of God that you could withstand the fiery darts of the enemy. The Bible did not put, the, he did not tell us to grab our armor. He did not tell us to suit up to fight. Mm -hmm. He told us to suit up and stand. Why? Because our battles have already been won. This thing is fixed. It is fixed. We, <laughs> live, fixed. we live in a fixed society because, again, I go back, because the kingdom of heaven, we have the power of the kingdom of heaven backing our word. So what do we do? We stand. When oppression comes, we stand. When sickness comes, we stand. We don't have to fight That's right. because the That's battle's good. already That's won. Good. That's a good word. Well, I'm so glad you were able to spend some time glad to be here. telling us about what God's telling you. Glad and to I, be here. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yes, Our sir. declaration is the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God is yes, here. Sir. Yes, sir. And we are his ambassadors. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Matthew. Thank you. God bless you. you. Send you out in the power of the Spirit Amen. to do great and mighty deeds. You'll Amen. do exploits Amen. for the kingdom in Jesus' Thank you. name. Amen. And we'll be right back.